are you aware that Sefa has an album out? She dropped an album called The Growth Album. She also has a new song out with the danceable Mr. Drew. She talks about it and how far or the impact the album has created so far. Okay, so, um, Maji. Yes. Do you think Ghanaians, it hasn't done its job? Or Ghanaians are not giving the necessary attention to that particular song because I listened to it, I liked it, mm -hmm. but it's not like sugar. Yeah. And do you think we are not paying attention or the necessary promotion hasn't been done yet? Um, I feel like Maji has a, a, a really long way to go. We are still in the process of doing that. And also, um, we released Maji, I think that was the, we released it last year and then we shot the video. You know, Ghanaians like visuals, they like something they can see. But around the time we released it was when Corona came in. So it really messed up things because people's focus and attention went to the pandemic, what is happening around and stuff like that. So, but apparently, and funny enough, when I go to places and I perform, people sing back. Oh. Yeah, they sing back. But then when you go to maybe my YouTube, you feel like, okay, it hasn't gotten to that level of sugar. Now. And also I feel like because we used a lot of tree, the sugar had English and stuff like that. So it reached to another market apart from Ghana, like a whole new market and stuff like that. So I think Corona really messed it up for me, but... With music, when it comes to creativity, you can't put your hand on that. This is the end for my music because as long as it's on YouTube, as long as it's there, anytime you can pick up. That's true. Yeah, that, that's very true. Let's talk about the album. Yes. So <laughs> that's my favorite topic. Shall we? <laughs> Let's talk about it then. How is it faring? Has it created the impact you intended mm -hmm. it for? Yeah. Or it's yet to. The album is doing amazing. I released the album because I wanted people to know the Sefa that I am, the Sefa that is at home. Do you understand? Because I felt like people only knew me for the Sefa, the Sugar Sefa, the Alter Ego Sefa, the Magic Sefa, and stuff like that. I wanted people to know that, okay, even though maybe she's doing all these fast songs and stuff like that, she can also do songs that maybe you sit down and listen to and stuff like that. And it has. I have people singing to want to want. I have people singing to our way. Ankonam. I have people singing to memories and stuff like that. But I feel like in as much as people love that aspect of me, as I said earlier on, they also love my alter ego. So I try to give them both at the same time. But the album is doing amazing. Even more than what I expected because our expectations weren't that much because of Corona and everything. But it's doing amazing. I listen to player. Mm -hmm. I watched the video, the concept for the video. Yeah. And then, one thing, one thing. You are big on women empowerment, aren't you? Yes, I love women. Everything <laughs> about women. Okay. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Because then, at the end of the song, I see you group with or be with your female friends exactly. to sort of jubilate or triumph yes. over the problematic mm -hmm. man. Yes. Yes. Is, is that a message people are getting or is that something yes. they are seeing with you too? you know you are very smart i'm so happy like i inter like you interviewed me oh, today thank you your you and your whole crew big girls you guys are so smart <laughs> thank because you. you know when it comes to me i i always tell people that women always base their happiness on a man and it shouldn't be like that it should never ever be like that that's why most of my videos when it comes to play i when it comes to want to want to the message and everything I always end up jubilating with the women because I don't need a man to make me feel fulfilled or make me feel like I am good enough. No, I can leave you, be on my own and still be happy with just my friends around me. Do you understand? And women have to learn that thing. When we learn that thing, we have to take our power back because we've given it to the men. We've made them feel like, okay, yes, we need them. Even though men are the head of the family, we really do need them. But our happiness shouldn't be based on them. That's the message I'm trying to give. Women are stronger on their own. Okay, yeah. and in the future, are you the way you just spoke? It's making mm -hmm. me think that you could probably vary into a foundation to talk to ladies. Are you do you have such things in your yes. future? Yes, I am. Even from even before I started music, my dad, my dad used to work as a human rights executive, he was the main director for Amnesty. So I know a lot about human rights, know your rights. As I told you, with my family, we are allowed to express ourselves. So I've already been doing it before I joined music, so oh. continuing it won't be a problem. I'm sure I'm going to start a foundation really, really soon. We're actually talking about it, yeah. Okay, so there, there has been this conversation that two women or two ladies on mm -hmm. a label, it doesn't go well at the end of the day. You, you were on a label that had another lady on there, yeah, yeah. right? How, how was it? I, the reason I'm asking is not because I want to 
pry into your past or mm -hmm. whatever happened. Yeah. I want to let people know that two women coexisting is not something that is far-fetched. Exactly. You know, that's why I keep on saying with me, when I had like my label meets on the, there was no competition because I didn't see them as a competition and they didn't see me as a competition. We're all doing different things and the sky is, is so big for everybody. Do you understand? I can do a fast song and it will pick. You do a slow song and it will pick. Everybody has their time and their period. So there wasn't so much of a competition in there. It was more of like a family. Okay, let's try and make this work. If you release a song, I'm going to promote it. If I release a song, you're going to promote it. Even if I release a song and you don't promote it, if you release a song, I'm going to promote it. So there wasn't any competition. We didn't see each other as competition. Because we don't even see others outside as competitions. Why should we see ourselves as competitions? Okay, let's come back to the growth album. Yes. Has it been able to communicate to the world adequately mm -hmm. enough for the growth of Sefa? Um, I feel like we still have a long way to go, but so far it's doing the job that it's supposed to do. It's, it's, on the, like, it's on the verge of getting to where we want to get to. So as time goes on, then I can give you a very fit answer for that. Okay, performance-wise, mm -hmm. how solid are you with the live band? Because Sugar has its own tempo, mm -hmm. Wanty Wanty has its own tempo. Yeah. How are you able to stand and then deliver both if you have to perform? You know, I, I used to do a show called um, Love Notes. I think okay. I, 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 it was the maiden edition last year. And I think last two years before Corona happened. So we couldn't do it last year. So, you know, it's funny enough, I'm very good with live band. Mm. I perform Sugar with live band. And it didn't even have to be my show. Every show I go to, I, pe I performed, I think, some award show recently. I performed Sugar with live band. And people cannot even do that. Even sometimes the band, they're like, Sefa, are you sure you don't want to perform with this one? Because Charlie, the beat, I know they sit up. I said, no. My manager says, no. We'll do live band. And, and that is something I'm really comfortable doing. Even when I go for shows, I prefer to do live band than mine. Because I feel like with live band, people feel you more than with the mime and I think life and it's so easy so when it comes to sugar and then want to want it it's so easy for me to do it that's what makes me a musician an artist do you understand I'm not here for the showbiz I'm not here for the dressing I'm not here for people to talk to about me that's why I don't do controversies and stuff like that I'm here for the music your label boss yeah. is, is labeled as the enjoyment minister yeah <laughs> Is a fan working with D Black or he, he draws a clear line between work and enjoyment? It's fun. It's fun working with him. And it's, it's, it's something that I always learn from him because I'm learning more about showbiz. Do you understand? This isn't as much as his music is a business. You have to let people see you. And you know, the funny thing is that apart from him being a, music, a musician, he's a businessman. He has businesses that have, has to see him around and stuff like that. So he being the enjoyment minister does not... It, it's sort of like I learn from him. I pick some things from him when it comes to my business, but it doesn't mean that when it comes to business, he's always there like, yeah, let's do the business because my boss, he likes money. He always wants to make money. So <laughs> when it comes to business, he's there. When it comes to enjoyment too, he's there, but he knows how to merge the two. He knows how to make it work for him. And that's one thing I really like about him. Are you handsome when it comes to your music or you like to, you know, just... Since you have um, music connoisseurs working with you, you just like to leave them to do the technical stuff, or you are very particular on what you want in your song and all of that. I'm really, really particular. Okay. When it comes to my music, I am there. I tell you, okay, I don't like the way this instrumental is sounding here. Can we change it? Or when an artist, I record with an artist, I'm like, no, I feel like you can do it like this. What do you think? You thought the artist? Yes, I feel like maybe you can do it like this. What do you think? Because, you know, when it comes to me, I don't write my music before I get to the studio. I get to the studio and I create it. And when I, it's an artist that I'm working with, unless maybe you're not in the country, I like to meet you. Let's be in the studio and then see how we... Because I'm a creative person. I like to create with you. Then the connection becomes organic. Do you understand? Even my music videos, I, some, I, direct, I write my scripts. I tell you, okay, this is what I want to wear. Can you make it happen? I tell you, this is how I want the video to look. Can you shoot it like this? So most of the times I dance, I perform, mm -hmm. I go there and I'm like, Okay, this is what I want. And I come back and I'm telling you, please do it like this for me. Can you dance like this? My costumes, my makeup, my hair, everything. I draw the whole plan. In one to one, see, there was a place where the lady was running mm -hmm. and then she morphed into you. Yes. Did you do that? That is my script. Please, I have to clap for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That Let's is talk my script, about a yeah. choke. You are good. If you, you. you, you put that thing all behind. All those things. I do all those things. I tell you. 
I want you to run like this. I'm standing there. Please run like this. Then I come. Okay, I'm going to run like this. Let me know if it's right. I want you to wear this. I want to wear this. I want us to be like this. this that's how I am. It took me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it took. Um, so the term it took mm -hmm. was um, Davido. Yeah, it was a slang. Yeah, a slang, yeah. and it, it was trending. Yeah. Why, why did you pick it? Don't you feel it will be lost in the world of Davido? Or it's, it actually has highlighted the song? I think it, it, it has highlighted the song. He bought a slang. It's a slang and everybody was using it. And I felt like, okay, instead of me to just stand somewhere and be shouting, you choke, you choke, you choke, you choke. I'm a musician. Let me just make it a song. Do you get it? That's how I'm also going to shout my you choke. Okay. And if it's going to help me, I don't mind. And I think he also doesn't mind because he put a slang out there. It's not like he did a song with it and I stole it. Okay. It was just a slang that he put out there to make people happy. And I just put a beat on it. Okay. To make it more fun, I added more lyrics. I made it more beautiful, and people are loving it so far. Those in Nigeria, it choke mind blown <laughs> everywhere. It choke. So I think it has really helped. It has highlighted on the song. It has made people know me more and stuff like that. Yeah. And why did you decide to put Mr. Drill on? Because when I first heard the beat, I told my my producer Ronnie, I was like, Ronnie, please make me a beat because I want a beat that is not like the sefa that we all know. I want a beat like my alter ego the sugar beat and stuff like that. So when he sent it to me, I was like, nah, this beat is danceable. Who, who is trending right now? Who does good with the dancing and the singing and everything? It's Mr. Drew. There's nobody right now. So I was like, okay. I called him and I'm like, oh, I have a beat. Can you come to the studio and stuff like that? He's like, okay, sure, I'll pass through. And it just happened. And was the outcome what you expected? It was even more than what I expected. It was more than what I expected because I was expecting, okay, a nice song. But that we finished the song. Do you know, even before we finished the song, we already started dancing to the song in the studio before it came out. So we had people actually call my boss and like, ah, when you go release the song? You don't go release the song. Release the song. Release the song. And people were pressuring us. This song was, was done, I think, a month ago, a month ago. And it's, it's already out. I didn't even realize we, we shot video and everything. It's not that I'm now soaking in everything. So it's... it's, it's, it's it my choke, mind just it, it, it just it, shook it, me. It, it, okay. <laughs> so in the in the music video, mm -hmm. I saw your dressing. Yeah, it was one dressing yeah. throughout. Yeah, but then it was different from mm -hmm. even though it shows your body care, yeah. it didn't show your cleavage that yeah. we normally see and mm -hmm. all. Was that something you envisioned for yourself and drew for yourself, or this? What was the plan with the dressing this time? I mean, with the dressing this time, I'm somebody that always likes to do something different. I hate being predictable. Like somebody will see and they're like, oh, it's like this. So sometimes I go for interviews and they're like, I, said, I, I saw you wear this on the internet. How come you're, you're all covered now? Because I hate being predictable. And it was so much fun to work in an environment where I, I was all covered and stuff like that. In, when you watch the video, I'm all covered, but the material is see-through. Yeah. You get it, but... It's not like I planned it that, okay, let me cover everything. It's just something that just happened off head. Are you a good dancer or Mr. Drew had an influence in, on you in this uh, particular video? For this particular video, I, I was like, I want to dance. My whole team, they were like, you have to dance because it's a danceable video. So you have to dance. I was like, okay, I'm going to learn how to dance <laughs> to make this work. Okay. Because I didn't want to just go and stand there and have dancers dance for me and have Mr. Drew dance for me when it's my song. So I learned how to dance. Okay. I think you delivered the dancing to uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, thank so you. So what are the prospects? Like, um, is Safa going to bring out something, another song or with a slang that is trending? Mm -hmm. Or what is, do you have a project that you have coming up that we should know about mm -hmm. and support or we should be anticipating what is up? in the future i love surprises and i always say that the future only god knows the future but right now with my team and with the hard work and with me myself i know i'm built for greatness so i can't put my finger on it i just pray that whatever is in my head and my mind god allows me to show it to the world so the future is very very bright for me from where i'm standing right now okay so we are going to take and look at the video, but I want you to introduce it. Yeah. I want you to give us some lines in the in the Echoke song and then introduce the song yeah. to our viewers. Okay, sure, that's fine. Does this love be choke? Eh? No be joke. 
It's up, girl, it's up, girl, it's up. What's up, guys? It's your favorite girl, Sefa. I have a new one out with you, Mr. Drew Icho. Well, as a big sister, Sefa did not leave us alone. She sent a message to you watching as a young lady. If you're a guy and you're also watching, you're welcome. But Sefa has a message for all young ladies. And how about the young people who are not yet mothers? Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of them look up to you yeah. and what you do. Mm -hmm. What advice do you give to them um, as a role model? What advice do you normally give to these young girls when they come to you? I want to be like you. I want to be like mm -hmm. you. I, I will, whenever somebody takes me on Instagram or on my social media and then they're like, oh, Sefa, I love you. I want to be like you. I always tell them that, no, you shouldn't pray or hope to be like me. Pray to be okay. a better version of me or even be like yourself. Do you get it? Because when you say you want to be like me, you don't know my struggles. You don't know my my negatives you don't mm. know my your vices <laughs> you don't know anything about me you don't know what i go through you don't know what i do behind the scenes people come like and they're like i want to look like you hey Charlie, look pa <laughs> it's crazy i just want to tell like the young ladies coming up that you have to fight for things for yourself we find ourselves in an era whereby social media has made everything look like it's so flashy everything look like you're supposed to be this type of person but know that social media is what people want you to see. Social media is very edited. Social media is fake. Social media, everybody's living a life that is fake. So don't be at home and think that, no, maybe I can't go for this business I want to go for because I want to be a musician. So because I've seen Sefa wear a, a dress that shows herself. So to, no, my dear, it cannot be like that. Make sure you have your own dream and you work towards it. And go for gold. Always go for gold. Okay. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the conversation with Sefa. She really made the conversation choke me. I hope it choked you whilst you were watching. But before I sign out, my dress is by Miss Goldie. You see, you can visit them at Santa Maria Blue Kiosk. My makeup is by Miss John. You can also check it out on all social media platforms. Now, you can follow One Play Africa on all social media platforms, or you can go to our YouTube and go and subscribe at One Play Africa. You can follow me at Tilly Ekienipa on all social media platforms. Please respect your workers if you are working too i have a lot of respect for you keep pushing hard as a young lady and if there's anything you have to do please do it now one play one play one play at class to your music